Today I'm going to show you how to get your own acid etching set up. The first step is going to be going to the hardware store to get some supplies. Right now we're in the PVC and plumbing section, and I'm going to be making two tubes for the etching system. I'm going to have one that contains acid water solution, and another one that's going to contain a neutralizing solution. I'm probably going to make both of the containers about 20 inches tall, so I'm going to get a nice 3 foot, or 5 foot by 3 inch tube, and uh, plenty to make a nice, two nice tubes out of. make a nice sturdy base, I'm going to get one of these toilet flanges that I'll screw down to a piece of wood and then stick the PVC tube in. Next I'm going to get two of these three inch caps just so I can keep the tube sealed when I'm not using them. Now that I've got the caps, the flanges, and the tube, I'm ready to start making the etching tanks. Since this is about a 5 feet piece of PVC, I should have plenty of room to make around two 15 inch etching tanks. One's going to contain the acid and water solution for etching, and the other one's going to contain a neutralizing solution. Now that I have all the supplies, I'm going to mark off how long I want the tubes, cut it out on the bandsaw, smooth off the rough edges, and then epoxy the PVC into the flange. Since I don't usually make any knives over around 14 inches overall, I'm going to make these etching tanks around 16 inches. Before gluing, it's very important to put on the proper clothing, such as glue-stained sweatpants and glue-stained aprons. Now I'm going to mix up some G-Flex epoxy to glue in the PVC to the flange. I like using G-Flex because it was originally developed for fixing leaky boat holes, so if it can keep a boat from leaking, it should definitely be able to keep the acid from leaking. I'm going to smear some of the epoxy on the inside of the flange and then also on the outside of the PVC. Now I'm going to put the PVC into the flange. Now I'm going to let the epoxy on these two cure overnight and I'm going to come back tomorrow and show you guys how I finish them up. In the etching tube, I'm going to put around a 50-50 mixture of ferric chloride acid and distilled water. I got the ferric chloride acid on Amazon and the water just at my local store. In the neutralizing tube, I'm going to put a couple spoonfuls of baking soda with some water. Now I'm going to mix both solutions up with an old coat hanger rod. Now 
Now let's test out this etching system using this micro drop point in Damascus steel. I'm just going to dip it in for a little bit and see how the pattern looks. Looks like it works pretty nicely. Look at that awesome pattern. Out of the acid and into the neutralizer. And here's a list of all the materials that we use for this project and what the total cost for each was. This is assuming that you already have some of the other basic equipment like uh, epoxy and sanding belts that you would probably already have if you're a knife maker. As you can see, for a pretty reasonable price, you can put together a really nice acid etching setup. Thanks for watching. Make sure to let me know if you have any questions about making a setup like this for yourself. And if you enjoyed the video, hit us with a like and subscribe. We're planning on making a couple videos showing how I do my acid wash finishes as well as how I etch my Damascus blade soon. So be sure to keep an eye out for that if you're interested. Stay sharp.